Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Danny Chess and welcome back to the Art Survival video. If you only wear polar armor, you must do this or you should consider this or you might want to have this um, in your inventory as well. So uh, let's let me explain first about polar armor. So polar armor is uh, the armor that you could get in the previous year's uh, Christmas event and the polar armor is kinda overpowered as you can see uh, on the third level it will have uh, 1500 armor it also will extend your maximum HP by 500 and then on top of that if you also, you know if you are low health as well you can get the berserk uh, bonus which can increase your damage dealt but also um, in what is it like in the opposite of that you will also take uh, whatever percent uh, damage for extra as well so at least there's that and for some players that uh, that already played this long enough uh, I know you probably have this steel armor, also you have uh, maybe polar armor and you probably don't play the game too much that you don't actually have this prospector's armor over here. Um, so what you want to do is you might want to have this secondary armor which is called prospector's armor uh, or just use steel armor I guess but as you can see the armor itself uh, this one's only 1500. I do have Armadillo 3, that's why, as you can see, it's now at 1700. But if you don't have any Armadillo perk whatsoever, it will be 1500. And this Prospector's armor, it will have 2000 base armor. Um, meaning that on Armadillo 3, I'm at right now, uh, I will have 2300 armor at max. And why is this important? Uh, here's the thing. If you did the Halloween event or not, maybe you just literally just played uh, a game like this recently, uh, just for Christmas event, uh, let me break it down to you. So in the Halloween event, on the first day of Halloween event, this Hunter's Carp over here, you probably, only, you probably also had this as well. Um, this was nerfed to level, pretty much level 0 or level 1, you might say that. And the armor itself will drop. It will not have 1500 armor. It will have like, I don't know, like about 50 armor or something. Pretty much it's unusable. And um, that's for Halloween event because there is this mechanics which is called demon armor that will uh, scale with everything, every equipment or weapons that are tied to the Halloween event. In this case, this Hunter Scarf also got affected. Um, also demon guys as well so if you didn't manage to maximize your uh, demon level to level 10 you probably don't have this at max uh, at 2000 base dam uh, base armor uh, at the moment so um, with that itself we can kind of extrapolate that uh, event into the upcoming Christmas event meaning that yes uh, I do believe so that in the first day of Christmas event we will all have this polar armor got nerfed and it will be at pretty much like barely have any armor whatsoever and yes that will make it unusable pretty much and it will be bad for you if you don't really have any other armor um probably you have still armor but then again this is like it's like okay but this is not the perfect or the best armor and um you know like uh, yeah it's just i guess it's kind of the same as polar armor itself uh the same armor as you can see it's at uh pretty much 1500 base or in this case 1725 and as you can see this is also 1725 so um if you only have this polar armor meaning that you don't have any other armor and that's actually bad because uh the boss the christmas boss pretty much um i believe they will be um, a little bit difficult to beat as well like there will be probably be some gimmick or something like that and that will be bad because uh, let's think about it this way when you fight the Grim Reaper at the final stage in the Halloween event you will need like high armor as well either steel armor or prospector's armor I think I did um, use uh, the uh, demon guys actually uh, I kind of forgot but yeah um, 
pretty much you want to protect yourself from the damage incoming damage from the boss or the minions as well meaning that you will need a uh, high armor and if you don't have uh, this polar armor available then you know uh, you will need some other stuff and yes my recommendation will be if you are level 80 or above you probably can get this prospector's armor um how to get that it's quite simple uh do you see these three city over here uh three survivor base um the first will be magneto kursk uh, you go to magneto kursk you do uh the quests you maximize the reputation level pretty much all of these three uh survivor base you will need those all uh at the maximum reputation because to unlock the things that you need, you will need um, high, you know, you will need uh, max reputation level as well. So let's start with Magneto. What is in Magneto? You will need to buy the mining permit, which is this one over here. Uh, this one, you can buy this from uh, that if you have enough reputation. And then after that, you want to go to the mine. That is in here as well, to the north of Magnetokurt, slightly over here. You will get yourself um, the, the mine. Uh, then you will mine the titanium ore. And pretty much you will need those titanium ore. Uh, let's actually see what it looks like. I probably should have um, prepared this beforehand. but uh, Alright, we kind of improvise here. Okay, so let's go here. Uh, let's drop here and you get this titanium ore uh, for one mining permit. I think I already did video about that. You will get 24, I think, 24 titanium ore in average. And then after that, you get that uh, titanium ore. And then you go to Chelyabinsk, um, this one over here, this NPC. You go to the specialist again at the maximum uh, reputation so that you can maximize this workshop. And then what you want to do is craft this titanium alloy over here using this titanium ore. Meaning that those uh, one permit will give you 24. 24 of this titanium ore will give you 12 titanium alloy. Um, now why do you need titanium alloy? Because the next thing that you want to do after you get that titanium alloy you bring that to Sverdlovsk over here to this uh, survivor over here. There, there will be a specialist that can craft this prospector's armor. And I believe you will need 70 of this. Meaning that uh, you got 12 from one permit. Meaning that you will need um, 8 probably. Uh, no, 7 actually. 7 should be... No, 6. 6 even is enough. You need 6 permit to get 150. And then to get yourself 75 titanium alloy. And that will give you... Um, I think... Uh, oh no, actually, yeah, two, uh, 6 times 12, that is 72, uh, wait, wait, uh, yeah, I think that's right, right? 25 times 6, that is 150, yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, anyway, you will need 70 of this titanium alloy to craft yourself one prospector's armor, and then you also need some of this titanium alloy for the repair as well, or you can just repair from the specialist and that will be it, pretty much. Uh, but you will still need the titanium alloy to craft this actual prospector's armor itself and that's pretty much it so there's that uh, however if you are low level um, like let's say level 50 60 70 or something like that uh, and you only rely on polar armor 3 well i hate to say this but you will have to get uh, your own armor and you should not rely on the polar armor fully because like I said in the beginning, I believe that Polar Armor will get nerfed. Uh, not really nerfed, but more like it will get scaled down to the uh, whatever type of level you will have. I think it's called Moros level or something like that. Um, so if your Moros level is like low, like you will start at level 1 just like anyone else probably. Uh, that's what I believe though, because the Halloween event is like that. Uh, I think the Christmas event will also be like that as well. Um, meaning that this polar armor will get pretty much will be unusable um, it will have like zero armor pretty much it will have zero extra HP it will not give you the berserk damage as well maybe it will maybe it won't I'm not sure but I get a doubt um, so yeah pretty much it will get scaled to your uh, Moros level I don't know what it will be called let's just call it Moros level uh, maybe there's already some leak out that 
pretty much will you know told or uh, tell what will it be but yeah um and then you, this one's unusable right if you are low level so what you want to do is you go to this crafting section over here uh you just craft the the most recent uh you know like a the newest armor that got unlocked uh, that you you're able to craft pretty much um to make it simple pretty much if you are like uh, if you have this steel armor unlocked then craft this if you have um this one the iron armor un unlocked but the steel armor is still locked because you are not having enough level then you know you want also to craft this iron armor pretty much it's just for your secondary armor that will become your main armor when the event starts and yeah that's pretty much it um so keep in mind about that as well uh, i do not want to see any one of you that have uh this armor over here available but you're still using your this one armored uniform or leather armor i do not want to say that um you know like pretty much um if this is available make sure that you craft this as soon as possible do not still wear your uh, weak armor like for instance this one this leather armor because yeah this are this will not be enough especially when uh the opponents like the boss and stuff like that um, it will be more difficult as you level up as well and that was actually the main problem with the previous event um, the new players are kinda you know were kinda crying about how the boss were too difficult for them and then I asked them like what's your level and then you know which armor that you used and it's kind of surprising that you know uh, they they they're able to craft this but they're still using this leather armor which you know as you can see this is 500 armor and this is a thousand that's just pretty much double of that um and you know we all know why you you know like uh, why the 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 person or the players like failed it's because they don't use their best uh, equipment uh, because they're able to craft this iron armor or steel armor but they are still using their like weak armor like for instance this one as well so that's one of your problem um there's also another thing as well which i probably want to do another video about that which is pretty much your weapon uh like i have seen you know like so many of you as well that um live in chelyapinsk but you know i ask what's your weapons then and then you know people just answer that their weapons just pretty much uh like the weak version like for instance this one like this um handmade stuff over here which pretty much will not do anything so you know um yeah like keep in mind that as you want to progress to the you know like the closer city to the main uh, civilization make sure that you also got the uh, weapons from all of this uh, town over here or survivor base like let's say in izevsk uh, in izevsk i believe there's chitin armor so you might want to get that as well um and that's pretty much it and then for like let's say maybe there's some weapon in Arzamas or Foroness or Ryzen and yeah like um I also like uh, also like there's also some player that said that they live in Tula but they still use the weapons that given by Olonets which is kind of doesn't make any sense um if you pass by this NPC make sure that you also get their weapons as well because again like the more level you reach up or the more your level is the more difficult your opponents will be and that will happen that will that already happened with the halloween event in which the opponents are you know the bosses are kind of too strong and you know um when you don't have the proper uh, weapons to beat them then you will not be able to beat them that's just as simple as that so keep in mind about that as well we all still have like probably two weeks by now or a few days uh, make sure that you use those days uh, like I said just to get yourself a better equipment in general or just a better armor over here as well and also better weapon I guess um, but the main the main thing for this video is that um, I believe polar armor will be uh, scaled to the players level the whatever in the event level will be just the same as demon armor and yes this will be pretty much unusable and you will need to have another option 
of armor and in this case i will recommend any of you that has you know level 80 and above to get yourself uh at least one of these prospectors armor and if you're still low level make sure that you also get um, you know, maybe this steel armor, maybe this chitin armor, maybe this leather armor, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I do not want to see you um, have this, you know, this armor over here available, but you're still using uh, your weak armor because, you know, like, uh, that doesn't make any sense. Uh, that makes sense that you are failing uh, the boss because, uh, you know, well, proper equipment proper level proper equipment proper armor weapon and then yeah that's says um the rest will be the strategy that i believe there's already so many channels that um you know like uh, make video about how to beat this boss how to beat that boss and stuff like that so go watch that out as well um i guess that'll be it for this one it's just a little bit of psa pretty much um if you only use polar armor you must do uh, this and what is this? Well, you must have yourself a secondary armor because this might get nerfed. Not really nerfed, it might get scaled down to the events level and you, you know, uh, you will need a better armor. Uh, and if you don't have any other armor, that will be bad. So yeah, just in case, um, if this does not get scaled down, then good for everyone. Um, you know like uh you will also not gonna waste your resource on this one because this is actually a great uh, armor in general and it's kind of worth it as well um and that's pretty much it anyway that'll be it for this one uh this has been the arthur video and yeah just a little bit of psa if you only use for armor make sure you have another uh, armor as well potentially prospector's armor if you are level 80 or above and that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed it stay safe healthy i will see you again later on with another the art survival video but until then see ya